more and more wealthy Indians are adding a new residential address to their list of assets. But it is not in India. They are finding greener pastures in a distant desert city that is Dubai. And the reasons are many. The quality of life in the city is comparable to any other top global city. Its property market is highly regulated which protects investors' interests. The city offers rental yields of 6 to 10 percent and it also offers various property-linked visas. No wonder Indians spent 35,500 crore rupees to own Dubai homes in 2022. According to the affordable housing pioneer Danube Group, 45 to 50 percent of the residential properties that were sold by them in 2022 were bought by Indians. The affordable prices and better amenities are attracting Indians to buy properties in Dubai. The fully furnished 400 to 500 square feet properties are available at a price of 1.45 crore rupees. An assured return on rentals due to steady flow of expats into Dubai makes its properties more attractive to the Indians across the world. But back home in the country's financial capital, Mumbai, property rates in prime localities have left Dubai behind. Properties between Andheri and Santa Cruz area are being sold at 50,000 to 1 lakh rupees per square feet. According to the Night Frank Dubai Destination Report, in the lowest bracket, residential properties are available in many places in Dubai between 11,000 rupees and 33,000 rupees per square feet. Dubai Science Park, Jumeirah Village Circle, International City and Jabal Ali are few of the places in this lowest bracket. Also, according to the Night Frank data, more than 56% of the property that registered in Mumbai during the first half of 2023 is priced above 1 crore rupees. So the properties in some parts of Mumbai are costlier than those in parts of Dubai. But why? Look, Mumbai, Mumbai's real estate uh, has a distinct advantage in the country. Um, uh, Mumbai remains the financial capital of the country and hence the residents or the occupiers or those who seek accommodation in this city can afford to pay high rates for the luxury property, for uber luxury properties. Point number one. Point number two is Mumbai has always been known as an island city and this is uh, 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 infrastructure perspective also has been troubling this city because the land values in this city have been skyrocketing in compared to anywhere else in the country. And how are these skyrocketing property prices in prime localities affecting the rates in other parts of the city? When luxury property prices were shooting up, it obviously had an, uh, an impact on the value of land down there itself. And if that land had, had to be used for, say, even if it is uh, mid to upper end or mid to lower end of the market, it would definitely impact all those categories of market. So today, this is, in fact, the very key reason why even affordable properties in Mumbai are extremely costly. So if I have to look at rest of the country, the affordable housing there could be available for below 25 lakh rupees as well. In fact, in uh, if you leave aside Delhi and Bangalore, in rest of the country, 10 lakh is a good price to buy a decent apartment anywhere in the country. But in Mumbai, even from 25 to 50 lakh, you will have very, very few locations to reach out to as far as affordable housing is concerned. And below 25 lakh is unthinkable. The increase in the property prices hasn't affected the demand. Data from Anarok Research suggests that housing sales in Mumbai has gone up by 48% in the second half of FY23 when compared to the same period last year. The demand there has still been at an increasingly high rate, which is why the developers have been able to take the advantage of commanding the high prices. Because as we all know, uh, you know, when there's high demand, uh, there's always a monopoly when it comes to the prices. And uh, uh, so far, I don't see the prices dropping anytime soon because the demand has been consistently high. Mumbai ranks sixth among 46 cities globally in terms of annual price growth of high-end residential properties. It was at 38th spot in the same period last year, that is Q1 2022. Clearly, demand is outstripping supply and people are ready to pay the prices to land a spot in posh colonies of Mumbai. And it is driving the prices of properties in Mumbai. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. 
For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's moving from employee to employer. Business Standard.